Never internalize their limits as your own. Don't fall for it. There's no one-size-fits-all path. To figure out what you want and how to get it, you must follow your own path. To certain onlookers, you might appear lost. You're not lost, you're exploring. Society wants your life itemized in boxes that they can put labels on. They want you to behave a certain way. They want you to follow a certain career path. They want you to date a certain person. You must recognize this and reject it. Life truly starts on the outside of the walls. Don't fall for the idea that you need a relationship to be happy. Don't fall for the idea that you need to be realistic or humble or practical. Don't fall for your own doubt and don't fall into the trap of comparison. Your mirror should only show one reflection. It is easy, natural, and encouraged to feel on top of the world when you reach any milestone in your career, no matter how big or small. A lot of upcoming artists lose to themselves in the arena of comparison. The 10,000 plays that can make you feel as tall as a skyscraper are the same 10,000 plays that can make you feel as small as an ant. The variable is that you took your eyes off your own grass and checked how much greener everyone else's was. Naturally, you saw several lawns that appeared greener than your own, which ultimately fueled your sense of inferiority. The reality is that you may think that someone's grass is greener than yours, but they might have astroturf. When you lose yourself in something you are passionate about, you will find yourself there too. But in order to lose yourself, let alone find yourself, you will need uninterrupted time by yourself. You must work in the dark for your light to shine. Being alone is imperative. It's when you're going to self-explore. If you're constantly seeking company, then you need to take a step back and reassess. You're scared to even face yourself. Embrace this fear, though, and take it on as a challenge. Take it day by day. This is a race, yeah, but not against anyone or anything else except your own doubt. A lot of people get alone and think, I'm lonely. So many people define and limit their lives to wanting a relationship above all else. So, instead of choosing a person out of love, they choose a relationship out of fear of being alone. They're trying to fall in love with someone else before they fall in love with themselves. This will never work. You will always have a void that only you can fill. You will find the person you're supposed to find when you're living your true purpose. In fact, you will both actually collide into each other. Don't set relationship goals, set life goals. If people work toward their dreams with the same zeal that they work toward getting into a relationship, they will be successful. I'm not saying stop putting love first. I'm saying stop misplacing love. Start by putting that love into yourself. Fall in love with a dream of yours. This type of self-love only grows in the garden of solitude. When I was alone, music happened. I happened. Music is my best friend and my passion it is who I want to spend time with. One afternoon in high school, I was at the piano talking with my music theory teacher, Mr. Spragans, about whether to go to school for music or whether I should do something more practical. I didn't mean it. I was regurgitating what I'd heard from my parents in society. So I told him, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket and just go do music. He said something super profound. His response was, just make sure you have a basket. Fireworks shot across my brain. Everything in my soul shifted. Here was this teacher who I only had for one semester in high school, providing me with life-changing advice. I've known people for much longer who have impacted my life far less. Don't block your blessings because you're so crippled by the idea of where the message should come from that you fail to receive the message. He didn't want me to fall in the trap of playing it safe. He didn't want me to fall in the trap of doing what my parents wanted me to do. My mom wanted me to be a lawyer or a finance guy, probably because I once won the school-wide stock market game in eighth grade, which I guess looking back is kind of impressive, but not really. Anyway, he didn't want me to fall for being realistic. Be realistic is the worst advice I've ever received. It is a commonly used phrase that, when internalized and accepted, brands a life of mediocrity. The people championing realism are usually the people who gave up on their own dreams. The reason someone will tell you something is unrealistic is because you haven't done it yet, and deeper than that, they themselves haven't done it yet. Being realistic is claustrophobic. It suffocates you and limits you to only what's been done so far. Will Smith explained in an interview, it is unrealistic to walk into a room and flip a switch and lights come on. Fortunately, Edison didn't think so. It is unrealistic to think that you can bend a piece of metal and fly people over an ocean. Fortunately, the Wright brothers didn't think so. I moved around a bit as a kid. New Jersey, Kentucky, North Carolina, and then finally Georgia. Doing that can either make you get heavily attached to things or provide you with a sense of detachment because you see that certain things and people are interchangeable. I think for myself, it was probably a little bit of both.